just a week ago, there were long queues here stretching as far as 100 meters away of people waiting to get passports. But following the application fee increase on 1 January, the queues are gone. Applicants will now fork out 150 United States dollars for an ordinary passport up from 120 United States dollars. Emergency passports are pegged at 250 United States dollars. Last week, the Registrar General told the Sunday Mail newspaper that all applicants will get their passports on time. Let me also assure the nation that despite the upsurge in the number of applications we are receiving, we do have enough consumables to make sure that those who are applying for their passports, they are getting their passports and not just getting their passports, but they are getting the passports on time. For the ordinary, it is seven days, and for the agent passport, it is 48 hours, that is two days. In Bulawayo, queues for passport collections were longer than those for people applying for passports. Authorities at Bulawayo Civil Registry say recent decentralization of passport services has eased pressure on their office. We don't have that many people, and we think that it's because we are now sharing our clients with other people. Like here in Matepeleland alone, we have got uh, Matnoth, which is Lupane. We have also got Wange in Matnoth. So that side is taken care of. The Mat South side of things, the, we have got Gwanda, we have got Bayed Bridge, and Central is us, Ulawayo. About 10 new passport offices have been opened in provinces across Zimbabwe in the last few years, the latest one being in Chipinge. These are part of the government's efforts to improve access to identity and travel documents to all citizens. Sharon Munjenjema for Satya News in Harare.